bivalent vaccine now on the market um, from Pfizer. This is uh, an Omicron targeted vaccine that has um, elements of the original strain of COVID in it, as well as the BA1 subvariant of the Omicron strain. Uh, you will remember that about five weeks ago, the Moderna equivalent BA1 bivalent vaccine went onto the market and has now been um, administered quite widely through the Australian market. Um, the uh, ATAGI has recommended that the Omicron vaccine from Pfizer be added to the booster doses available or recommended here in Australia. Uh, and um, that will be for people aged 18 and over, uh, only for a booster dose, not for a primary dose, but um, now available as well as the Moderna bivalent vaccine and some of the original strains of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, as well as uh, the Novavax vaccine as well. So I'll talk a bit about what that means for supply in a second. <clears throat> um, the second recommendation from ATAGI <clears throat> is that the paediatric vaccine from Pfizer, which is for um, very young children aged six months up until five years of age, be added to the um, existing Moderna paediatric vaccine that is available for very young children under the age of five in limited circumstance. So largely only children who have severe immunocompromise uh, or another specified health condition which is available to parents. So I've decided to accept that advice uh, as well. Um, and thirdly, uh, and this will be of interest to a number of Australians, thirdly, ATAGI has <coughs> considered international evidence as well, uh, as well as the local data around vaccination numbers as well as case numbers uh, in the pandemic and decided not to recommend a fifth dose or a third booster, if you like, at this point in time. Um, they have said that they anticipate new booster recommendations being made in early 2023 in preparation for um, the uh, Southern Hemisphere winter. In making that recommendation, um, ATAGI, first of all, uh, reiterated that um, they're continuing to actively review the role of booster doses and particularly evidence um, from around the rest of the world around uh, the performance of booster doses. But they particularly noted that the recent um, XBB wave, which is one of the subvariants now present in Australia, the recent wave in Singapore over, over the last several weeks <coughs> was, to use their words, <coughs> short and small. Uh, and I think the CMO and other health experts have been making that point over the last couple of weeks as well. They also noted uh, that um, severe disease and death during that wave in Singapore uh, was um, very rare for people who had had at least two doses of a vaccine for COVID. Uh, and they also noted that, uh, in their view, any reduction in transmission in this current, what appears to be a building wave, uh, any reduction in transmission by adding a fifth dose to the system would, in their words, likely be minimal. Um, so uh, I've decided to accept that recommendation as well. So I've accepted all three recommendations from ATAGI, uh, which I received yesterday and considered overnight. Um, ATAGI, in their, in their advice, um, as the CMO and other chief health officers around the country have done over recent days, strongly reiterated the importance of being up to date with current vaccines. And they made the point that there are 5.5 million Australians still uh, eligible for a third dose who have not yet had it. And in many instances, um, are many, many months overdue for their third dose and reiterated the importance, particularly as case numbers start to build again uh, in getting that third dose. And they also made the point that there are um, 3.2 million Australians aged over 50 uh, for whom a fourth dose has been recommended for some time now who have still not had their fourth dose as well. Uh, pleasingly, on, on the positive side, can I say that uh, around 80% of Australians over the age of 75 have had their fourth dose. So <clears throat> older Australians in particular have heeded the call from the experts to get up to, ta up to date with their vaccinations. But um, there are still some millions of Australians who are eligible to, re to receive 
a booster dose that will help protect them and, and those around them who have not yet done so. And so ATAGI reiterated those calls that the CMO and other CHOs have made to get up to date. Um, I'll let the CMO talk about the other advice that, that health experts uh, have been um, providing, but very broadly, in addition to being up to date with vaccines, the, the, the advice as case numbers climb again uh, is to wear masks in crowded indoor spaces if you are not able to socially distance. Um, if you are unwell, stay home. Do not mix with others. Stay home if you are unwell, particularly if you test positive to COVID, but more broadly, if you have st symptoms, um, stay home. Uh, and, and lastly, and very importantly, if you are over the age of 70 or if you are over the age of 50 with two risk factors, uh, then make sure that you have a plan with your doctor to get antivirals very quickly in the, in the event that you contract COVID. Because we know even from recent evidence from Victoria, uh, just again, um, how important antivirals can be in protecting vulnerable Australians from severe disease, hospitalisation or even worse. So I'll let the CMO add to that advice. Um, finally, can I just uh, update on supply of these next generation Omicron vaccines or so-called bivalent vaccines. You'll recall um, that the Moderna Omicron vaccine uh, came onto the market about five weeks ago. Um, since then, we've administered about 94,000 doses of that Omicron vaccine. There is plenty of that in the system. <clears throat> there is um, already about 440,000 of those doses have been delivered to uh, pharmacies and, and other vaccine administration outlets. And over the coming fortnight, another 320,000 doses of that Moderna Omicron vaccine will be delivered as well. Currently, there's about 75,000 vaccines being administered every week. That's up 50% in the last fortnight, which is good. Um, but there's more than enough Moderna Omicron vaccine in the system for people who want to access that. And you can go to the Vaccine Finder website, uh, find a, a pharmacy or other outlet in your area that, that delivers the bivalent vaccine. And if that's what you want, you, th there's plenty in the system for you to be able to access that. I'm also um, pleased to announce that um, we have uh, uh, reached an agreement with Pfizer uh, for um, them to... Uh, provide the, the uh, Omicron variant vaccine that's just been approved by ATAGI uh, to the Australian market. Um, 4.7 million doses of this Pfizer bivalent vaccine will arrive in two shipments over the course of the next fortnight. Uh, so there, in addition to the hundreds of thousands of Moderna Omicron vaccines that are already on the market, uh, over the coming couple of weeks, we will receive, then batch test and then distribute uh, 4.7 million doses of the Pfizer Omicron variant vaccine that has just been approved by ATAGI or recommended by ATAGI. And that will um, start to be or be available to be administered to Australians from about the 12th of December.